We're going to take a look at the breaker panel. The breaker panel is a safe way to disconnect power to an appliance prior to working on it. You can see there's a series of breaker switches. These will disconnect power to an appliance or to an electrical circuit within the home. There is one breaker for each electrical circuit in the house. These two that I've tripped off are 240 volt circuits. You can see that there is two breakers tethered together, each supplying 120 volts. Often breakers are labeled and identified with their particular circuit, whether it be dryer, air conditioner, master bathroom, etc. If they're not labeled, it's a good idea to label them when you discover what they are attached to. It is not uncommon in an electric dryer that is not heating properly that you may find one of those two switches has tripped, supplying only 120 volts instead of 240 volts to the appliance, not allowing it to heat properly. This can also happen in the case of a range where you will have control, but it will not heat properly. Inside the breaker panel, you'll see that there's three main input lines. The two main input lines, the L1 and L2, go to the main breaker. The main breaker is a primary switch capable of disconnecting power to the rest of the breakers. You can see here inside there is L1 and L2 attached to these 30 and 50 amp breakers. The 30 amp breaker is for the electric dryer and the 50 amp breaker is for the stove. The circuit must also have a neutral connection for electricity to flow and do its work. The third supply wire entering the house attaches to a neutral connector. This creates an area of low electrical pressure causing electrons to flow.